The first time I was thinking about uh, doing this world record was like maybe two years ago. I spoke with Georgie about it, I think last year at the team trip. Yeah, we need to, to push our sport and uh, we ride almost every weekend with freestyle, freestyle riders. So yeah, I wanted to reach the FM existence. In the same time, Patrick came to Georgie and to propose the same thing. So yeah, two things came together and now we're here and we trained for it. And I think we're kind of ready to, to jump the FMX jump on the BMX. We're on the day one at the building of the, of the course at the biggest, most insane and huge resi. Man, no, no pain, no gain. It's a lot of, it's a big, big, big thing also to practice. But I think we got everything together step by step and hopefully gonna get a good session on tonight and then break the world record on Saturday. Official world record which is stated in the, the Guinness Book of Records is from 10 years ago when Mike Escamilla did it, rooftop, and he did, I think they did it on the, um, on the mega ramp from X Games, but they just put the ramp back and that's on 18.9496 meters, so quite a massive jump. Now they had a roll in and we do it with the toe in, which doesn't really matter, but for me actually it's not really about the distance, but it's more that I always had the dream to jump the moto jump. I feel kind of bored if I just ride and do my normal tricks, normal things. And I need every time to have something pushing me and putting me pressure and adrenaline. For me, it's really like a dream, a dream come true. Will be tomorrow. Not sure I'll be taking it to the resi like these boys, but pretty funny to have a little go, yeah, and experience the speed. So fast, super crazy. We're super excited to be here with the guys from Masters of Dirt, uh, pushing the limits of the, the sport once again uh, with uh, some new world record attempts. And uh, yeah, we're very excited to see the guys landing it. I have no doubt it's going to all work great. I mean, the, the guys have all the skills they need to get this done. We have the bag. They're going to practice over and over and over again. As soon as they feel safe, they're going to take it to the resi landing and we're good. We did our tricks couple of times in the back, same distance, and I think we're going to measure everything now to see what speed we had and like the distance of the ramp, and then it should be good. And now is the big step. We need to go on the landing, so it's a different vision because you don't see a massive airbag, you just see like a vertical landing waiting for you. But yeah, we feel confident. It's just like the matter of getting the right speed, having the right distance, and that's it. 20 meters, it's not small. I was feeling a little bit not so confident, but after the first couple of tries, I was feeling good. We were flying so high. The feeling was something very unique. Even on an airbag, the landing was hard. To go on this distance is a totally different calculation. I need to adapt my rotation with the, the speed we arrived, because we arrived really, really fast into the ramp. So yeah, it's kind of difficult and also dangerous because uh, there's no place for mistake, I can say. In my first go, I went eight shit on the ground, but I think we're good now. We're still discussing what the final distance will be and we're going to do some adjustments on the, on the, on the run-in and then, yeah, I think we should be fine. Here, it's, it's super long and we go pretty fast because I think we're at, I think, 65, 70 kilometers an hour now. And then it's a lot of things to, 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 to check before to jump, but stoked about I'm alive. I did some flips at 80 meters and we're gonna get some more soon. Pretty gnarly, to be honest. Like, the plates, the way it's made, 
we are a bit moving on the runway, but um, it's crazy. We made it. We can reach the distance now, and uh, yeah, it's really, really impressive. Like the impact when we land is really violent, but at the same time, it's so exciting. But we are so pumped. So yeah, looking forward for tomorrow. I've been thinking of doing it like many places, but. Uh, I think that uh, during a Masters of Dirt show, and especially in Klagenfurt, as we're going to have like 28,000 people coming in a huge football stadium, I think it's the best opportunity. And uh, yeah, to do something has to be big, and this show is on uh, one of the biggest freestyle shows in the world. So yeah, it's, it makes sense totally for me to be there and send it in Klagenfurt. We just made some historic moments. I did my biggest frony ever. The toe win is something very, very scary. I did it first try, I'm so happy. It was 28,000 people screaming. I wish I come back next year here. I'm so happy and I, I just want to party with my friends. And I cannot talk. I'm so excited, shaking like this. I was so nervous, but I had to go, now or never. And as soon as I left the ramp, I knew it was perfect. I have no words, I'm speechless. <laughs> I think we're going to do this more often. We're going to get around on landing and then yeah, we can progress in the big air stuff and I think we can go way, way further and way bigger tricks. Patrick and me made a plan after summer. I'm going there for a month or two and then going to get some massive stuff done.